Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series. And we're out in the Space Hangar! Space Hangar! Yay! Love it. Just, just kind of, you know, floating around. Do my thing. Out in space here. But I'm all comfy. Oxygenated. This is definitely by far the largest single chamber that I've had to oxygenate. Okay, so I'm not sure if I really like the look of those big giant freaking <laughs> two big giant I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I can put some like eyebrows over it or something, right? And draw a nose and like a happy face. <laughs> oh god. Okay, okay, let's um put those googly eyes, put googly eyes on the thrusters. <laughs> So, oh man, that would actually look better on the front. So let's continue on where we left off. I did, as you saw when we went around there, I, I tapered the rear also. So that's done. Um, oh, right. We've got to reconnect here. Get into our, oh, we haven't caught, we haven't renamed the shed. No, that's okay. Can we? It's the only unnamed base called base. So I think we can handle that. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't even see us needing 181 at this point. The hull is almost done. Uh, yeah, we'll build the rest with container extensions, cargo boxes. We don't have very many cargo boxes, do we? No. Uh, CV ore and wood. We need a couple of those. Well, at least one. Hmm. Wonder. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this for balancing. I'm not sure if I need to really worry about it too much, but. Thinking close to center on the floor for a bunch of the container extensions. And I guess along the wall too, with the container extensions and the cargo boxes. Uh, although the cargo boxes, because they're individually and they're harder to balance unless you center them, maybe those should go on the floor. That might be a better idea. And just have them close to the center of the ship on the floor. Hmm. Uh, well, let's let's continue working on the front. Let's get the let's get the hall built here first before I start worrying about the stuff on the inside. So we're gonna need the heavy windows. Uh, did I not make a cockpit? I do not believe I made a cockpit. Huh. Ain't going to get far without a cockpit. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. That's the dump chest. That's where it was all... Dump spoiled food. Yep. Okay. That's fine. It's freaking myself out, but that's fine. That's where that. Uh, I had a bug hit me earlier, and it wiped out my entire fridge. Lot of food. Um, but that's that's fine. I I still had my garden to pick again, and I've already I've already recovered. It's not that big of a deal. Gave me a lot of spoiled food though that I don't really know what to do with. I don't want to throw it away, but whatever. Uh, let's make this cockpit. Where are you? That looks like it there. Yes. One of those. Please and thank you. 
Okay. Well, it's cooking up. We need to taper this down, and then we're going to kind of... Basically, we're going to make it look like the the whole mole, really. That's what it's going to be. It'll be that, I don't know, space mole. Oh, my God. So we're going to make it really kludgy and ugly on the front. I think I can handle that. I'm pretty sure I can... I'm up for that challenge. So, let's do this. And we'll get this tapered in here. Okay. Come on. Oops, you know what I should be doing right now is a symmetry plane. So let's do that. <clears throat> Symmetry plane, YZ, we want it right there. Yep, that looks like it. Okay. Okay, so I've done the top there. Let's get the bottom done. Okay. Now, so we've got the one taper coming in. Now, do we, do we continue, do we continue with the taper? Not really sure how to do that, to tell you that. Mm. How would we do that? Oh, yeah, we just put another one of those on there and there. Oh, yeah, so we can do that. We could taper it one more time. That's not a bad idea. Let's 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 do it and see what it looks like. Let's do it and see what it looks like. I can always change it, right? So So one of these. So we continue this like this. And then So I can just put in a regular slope again here, right? Yeah. See? Yeah. Exactly. Oops, not that one. That one. Now, is that the right way? Tapering the way, right way? Yep. Okay, and get the blocks in. And get that in and wait, that's that doesn't go there. Um get the this one. Actually, that was the right way. Let's go like that. And down on the bottom here. Um, oops. That way. Okay. <clears throat> and then... So it's one of these guys that goes right there. So we got to spin him like that. Boom. I mean, realistically, I can just keep tapering in the front, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's all cranky with me when I start getting a little bit too far away. I don't have a wireless in this, in this yet, so it so it bitches and complains to me every time I get a little bit too far. You're gonna leave? No. Are you gonna come back? Okay. Enough of that. Okay. 
yeah, I think we should just try doing this. I think we really should. Because this might be okay. And then we put the drill, we'll, we'll figure out afterward for the drills, I guess. Oh, we're getting there. So now it's come to a head. See that? We've actually got a... So now we have to decide how we want to proceed. Do we continue with the taper? Not even sure if we can continue with the taper. We let's take a look here. I just wanna I'm just gonna seal this in here. A little bit here we're just gonna put the go like that so that we can we can take a look at what our options are then um, so we can bring this out is it this one I think so like that isn't it yep Okay, and then we'll continue with the taper. Okay, so now we're getting down to where the cockpit is we're gonna have to figure out where the cockpit the height of the cockpit like do we need to go dead center and have that as the height there so this would be our floor It's not that bad. So this would be our 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 height here. So fill that in. that in and then we just make like a Cylon <laughs> um, not exactly as high how I had intended They, there are times when I, well, I could knock these blocks out here and just continue the window around, right? Because the drill is going to come out somewhere there, maybe. The drills aren't sealed, though, so that sucks. Well, we'll deal with that. We'll, once it's inside, we can wrap it with something. I don't know. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I think I need to take these windows out. I don't like. Or I keep extending it one more. We could do one more. Ooh. I mean, this it's not a combat vessel, even though that it's um, got combat steel. Uh... Hmm. I go like that. And then do this one. Oh, wait, but it's square on the bottom. No. Um. Is it actually this one? It might actually be this one. Um, okay. What am I doing here? Let's get this figured out. There we go. Uh, close. Is there... I mean, I guess I could just... No, I don't want to do that. I want... Four, and then... Uh, oh, you know what it is? It is this one. It is this one. It's just I was being stupid. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And then we can just do the same here. Not very inducive to turrets, but we'll build those in somehow to create the to create the snubby nose effect. Even though this is fairly st streamlined right now, it won't look like it once we're done. Okay, and then we'll put these in. Yep. And then we want that guy. And the other ones on the inside are the funky corner ones here. Yep. I'll have to have to go inside for that. We're gonna put the... Oh god, I can't get inside. Without pop, popping a hole through here, we'll just... We'll just go inside through the back. I do need to pop some holes in it for... Uh, where would I do that? Up and down right here. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so let's get these in. So, boom. Okay, I think... I mean, that's a little thin for the cockpit area. I, I, I'm not going to be going into combat with this thing, even though that it's all combat steel. It's only one single thickness hull, for starters. I just don't want it blocks to get one shot off. Okay? That's, that's it. Uh, yeah, it's going to make it heavier, but you know what? It's mostly going to be out in space. And realistically, I don't even think it took a one full stack of blocks to build the hall here. So I think we're sealed. I think we're sealed. Um, if I fired it up, if I powered it up and this closed, I think we'd be sealed. It looks sealed to me. Okay.
Next step. Now that we've got a sealed hull, I guess we should start puncturing some holes in it <laughs> and putting the thrusters in which are much needed now so we've got 12 downward thrusters to go in so let's grab those um, okay and we've got to pop some Locks out. So, hmm. Uh, what color are we going to use here to pop out? It'll be the yellow potential. Okay, so let's count. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to skip the tenth one. It's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I guess we start on either side of the 10 and just keep placing them. We skip because I we're going to. This is really crappy, so I'm going to show you what's ha what's going to happen in here. They're going to be coming down. Uh, you know what? I need them further over. I need I need to do the ones up. Yeah, I need to do these ones. I can't do those ones, that's the wall. It has to be these ones right here. Yep. So that one, then we're going to skip one, then we'll go, and then we're going to, like that, skip one. Oops. Ugh. Jerk, dummy. Jerk, what a jerk. Uh, you know what, let's just pop these things out instead of counting them with freaking... Now I know. Hmm. Hopefully this won't be too brutal on the I'm gonna have to figure out something imaginative to uh, prevent myself from getting cooked all the time well that's six there now I'll leave it really imbalanced just that I didn't want to put a lot at the back there right so what if I What if I use the bottom here, the bottom back area for the, don't I have a bunch of the small ones? Do I have a bunch of the small ones or did I use them all? I think I used them all in the, um, in the dart, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. That's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, a 
Okay, so what what about if we just Well, why do I need them in the front and the back? Why can't I just put them in the middle then, right? So if I did three and then three there, I mean, that's pretty freaking balanced. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, okay, let's take a look at that. Where's my, no, no, no. Um, let's put some blocks back here. So, yeah. Place that one. And come on, which way are you facing that way? Okay. Okay, so we also want to fill that one in too, don't we? Hmm. Have two groups of three. I'd like to move that one forward. That's one, two, but that's halfway there. Hmm. Or I pop that out. It'll be those three there, and then those three there. That sounds like the winner. That sounds like what's going to happen here. Yep. Okay, so let's put the blocks back here. That one. That one. And then we're going to remove this one. Uh, what was that on four? Yep. And that one underneath it, and then that one, and that one. There we go. Okay, so now when we put the thrusters in, it'll be three there, three there for six, and then on the other side. So um, that is in the middle. Yeah, that's one up, and then so we got to find the middle here. That's the middle there, and then. Okay, the paint had symmetry applied, so we can just nuke where it got painted. Right here, these three. Okay, and then... Okay. Making sure I'm getting the right blocks here. Okay, so that should place them somewhat in the center, fairly somewhat balanced, in my humble opinion. <laughs> the problem is, is the heat burn on the inside is going to suck. I got to, I don't, I'm, I'm, st I'm a little disappointed that it is such a small vehicle because I'm going to get heat burn and I don't know exactly how I'm going to prevent it, actually. <laughs> and what I mean by that is it's, the, the thrusters are going to fry me from the inside when I get too close to them because I'm going to have some expo some areas that are um, that are basically going to be too exposed a bunch of the thrusters that'll be unless I unless I 
put blocks all around them. These are going to cook me. And unfortunately, the wall is going to kind of be where these things are. So I either have to build out the wall in these two sections, which might not be that bad. Might not be that bad. At least it's somewhat to the center there, so it's not too bad. Okay. Well, let's get these ones in. Oh, had it. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that is our 12 downward thrust. In the center, but still that is our downward thrust nonetheless. Now we can do the side to side, we can do up top here. And actually in the center here, we could do some serious, um, like straight out the center. Yeah, we might want to do that. Up near the top and yeah. Okay, so I wonder if I should at this point cover this in and I'm wondering if I should do it with a, a huge, um, Three PU. So those forty are going to cost a constant hundred and twenty PU. And that really doesn't give me much. Eight thousand capacity. I mean, that's eighty. That's my three, that's one full cargo container. Well, minus, take, remove three blocks from that, put a con container on there, and you'd have your 320 max out. And that's that would be one maxed out cargo container with all those. And that would cost, uh, so that's three, um, so that's 120 minus, one so one seventeen, but the, the container itself costs ten, so a hundred and twenty seven. Yeah, they both do. Hundred twenty seven power units of consumption for one maxed out cargo container. Whew. That's a lot. You get like three max out cargo containers and there's 400. <laughs> 400. Whew. I mean, yeah, we're, we're talking, we're talking some serious consumption. Um, I mean, even that only takes one power unit. <laughs> Although that is a uh, 20 KPU. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got to put that in too somewhere, probably in the center back somewhere. Yeah, let's do that pretty quick. So that's got to go very specifically down here somewhere right near the back. So hang on, we can't change that, can we? No. Okay, good. Um, hmm. How far in do I want that? I don't want it too far in, but I don't want it. I don't want it triggering the my sensors that I'm going to be have have in here. Although I can make the sensor so that it's only into this block. So if I have this a couple blocks, let's do it there then. Okay. 
So I guess what I could do is I could divide the floor into two containers side by side. Uh, that's close enough to the center that I don't think it's going to make it tippy from side to side. And if it does, you know what, we'll figure it out. We'll adjust it some way. I'll pop one of the container controllers out and connect it together or something. I don't know. Hmm. It's not that bad of an idea. And up here, I think we can get away with, uh, what do we got here? We've got five squares. We might be able to get away with, with some gardening in this thing. Like, seriously, we're going to have a uh, multi-level here. Um, yeah, I, this is going to be a lot bigger than I actually intended, really, but sort of not, kind of, not really, yes, but, <laughs> uh, okay, also, we got to figure out a way to encapsulate the core somehow. We can think about that later. We can move the core too, but... Okay. Let's grab uh, more of the stuff. So that will be the space hanger made my... Did it make my stuff? Where did I send that to? Obviously not there. Okay, I haven't been in this. No, okay. Um, dump. Oh, yeah, I put it in the dump. Okay, I guess it was connect. Dump. Just taking a dump. Okay. Um, hmm. Which one do I like better? Captain's chair? Uh, that one's off center. That one looks just. Like, I guess cool for a little fighter CV, but. This is a miner. It needs a little bit more information at hand. Okay. And then... Hmm. I mean, it's not much of Windows <laughs> at all, really, but... Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, not much in the way of... But that's okay. It's it's window all the way from either side. So, you know what? I'm not going to complain too much. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's continue the floor here, I think. Right? But with what? I don't want to keep using heavy blocks anymore. I'm thinking we need to start shifting to some sort of other super light interior construction material. Like maybe, um, maybe we need to make those here. Let's let's make a bunch of carbonate plastic blocks for the inside, just as. Just to fill in for some floors and stuff, and interior walls, I think, because weight. I don't want too much weight going on here. Okay, so let's figure out the weights here. We've, we've got the carbon composite for CVBA is 100 kilograms. Okay, so... Okay, steel block is one ton. Ooh. Yikes. So carbon is way lighter. What's the uh, steel combat steel? Four tons. Holy crap. Okay, so this is about a 40th of the weight. So that makes sense to use a whole bunch of this in the inside, because, yeah, six kilos, 
100. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wrong one. 250 kilo, 100 kilo, 240 kilo. So the carbon composite are the lightest by far. Um, oh wait, what about what about rails? What about if we just use freaking rails? 150. Wow. Okay, carbon composite is cheaper than rails, or uh, lighter than rails anyway. Okay, let's make a whole crap ton of those then. We've got tons of, yeah, we've got lots of wood and we've got tons of stone somewhere else if we run out. I don't think we will. So let's, let's just pound out, I don't know, a hundred for now. Oh, it's going to go fast. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, advanced constructors. Gotta love them. Okay. So we're also going to need, do we have enough to make a bunch of steel grow plots? Because I think we can get into some, some growing plots on our mining vessel by the look of it. We're going to have the space. I think we, we should be able to get in 18 plots on it. Okay, and then um, what else? Up in the ceiling is probably going to be where a bunch of... Okay, so what do we need? Steel, nutrient solution. We've got everything else. Okay. Okay, so we've got to make a bunch of nutrient solutions. So let's do that. Let's do that. And come on. Uh, yeah, we've got tons of spoiled food. Okay, so what about stone? Enough stone. Yep. So we need 18. 18 nutrient solution. Okay. So like this. Subtract a couple. There we go. And yeah. Why was I consuming oxygen from my... That's funny. Oh, you know what it was? I bet you the... When I was inside the CV, I was using my... My... My suit, wasn't I? You guys were like, hey, watch. He's going to suffocate without even realizing why he's going to suffocate. <laughs> and I keep leaving the, the force field, so I keep... End up using my own air through stupid maneuvering but you know uh okay so we've got those in well those well the other composite blocks for the interior are cooking up let's get more thrusters in so we need i am only gonna have i'm not gonna have 12 to put in of each of the where is it here? No, not you. So, I mean, I could, but then I have, I'm going to be missing one. So I could do two for up, two for left, two for right. I've already got the two for the back and the 12 for down. So it's just the ones pointing to the front. Or, okay, so we've got left and right. We've got um, pointing up and front. So... How many of these do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So 36 divided by four does not work out properly. Okay. Hmm. Well, it does. I mean, it's nine. 
36 divided by 4 is 9. I could do 9 on each each direction. 9 each direction. That's not bad. That's not that bad actually. That's 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 pretty good. I mean, I could make more. But do I really want to have this thing just like cranking out tons of weight and thrust when it probably doesn't need to? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's let's do nine then. Nine each direction from here on. Okay. So we want nine up. Nine. So let's, I'm going to mark the center. I'm going to mark the center. I think that makes the most sense to mark the center here. Where I've kind of determined what the center is anyway. It's not really the perfect center, but whatever. Uh, do the green for center. Just marking center right now. That way... I can keep all my parts lined up. Okay. Okay, so now... If we got nine... Got nine. And I can probably do this... Let's take a look. I can probably... get away with doing these ones right there, but then... won't really match properly. Uh, uh, let's... you know what, we'll just... we'll do the center like we did on the on the other one, on the uh, bottom ones. But this one gets nine, so it's gonna have one, and then two, a space and two, or we do a whole bunch of spaces, or we do a whole bunch in a row. Nine. How are we going to do that? Be easier to do eight and to add more to the bottom, I think. Yeah, let's. Let's actually do these ones here. For and we're going to put that back. Yeah. We'll just do eight for now. Okay. Let's get this back. Oops. Ugh. That was not what I wanted. Oh, stop it. It's getting all jumpy on me. One. Two. So this one's got to get replaced. And then this one gets taken out. That one gets replaced, and then that one gets taken out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on, there we go. And that one, whoa. 
It's getting a uh, the that funky memory leak when you're in a area with um. No, well, is it just? Now that's actually the one that I wanted to not fill in. That one I need to fill in. That one I need to fill in. So it's this one that goes away. Okay, and So on either side, and then we skip one. Okay. Okay. Let's fix up the other side. Here, we'll just go in here. Yeah, see, I got no oxygen in here. That's a little bit ridiculous, but whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got to fix. Come on. We're going to fix this side here. Yeah. Okay. It's this. And that, that, okay, okay, let's get these thrusters in, so these are going to be the, the upward facing thrusters, and there'll be eight of these ones. each direction with spares left over for facing up or facing uh, pushing up <laughs> so facing down uh, okay and put this one in okay there we, oops yay Okay, so we have the 12 down. We now have 8 up. Let's just confirm that it all worked there. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, good. And then... So we need side ones. <clears throat> Oops. So we need eight. What if we did the same pattern? Because there's plenty of there's like yeah, there's lots of lots of block space in front and back of these. Okay, so let's let's do the same pattern. Oh, stop jolting around so much, bloody thing. I'm trying just to aim at the one block right now. I might have to uh, call it here, actually. It's really getting jumpy on me, and it's getting late enough that we can call it, I think. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we've got a really decent start here. I think we've accomplished keeping most of the thrusters away from... Um, too much. This is going to be right in the freaking corner of the, and I might be able to put something there, like something in the corner here, uh, to, to kind of help prevent, uh, getting burned by these. So, and then the, the upward ones, well, we're, we can, that's easy enough. That's not going to be part of the hanger anyway, right? Cause the, the hanger, um, 
here. Did it finish the carbon comp concentrate? Let's see. Or the, the whatever it's called. We've got some. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what this is going to um, be like. So we want... We basically, we're just going to be like pulling this straight across, aren't we? I mean, it should be fine. It should be fine. We'll be able to cover stuff up without expending too much weight. I mean, it's cheaper than rail. It's it's lighter than railways, or ra not railways, railings. <laughs> it's it's lighter than a rail, a locomotive. Damn it! <laughs> no, no, they're not. But they are hellishly light. So, yeah, we're gonna have a plastic. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's going to be all hard and chunky on the outside and chewy on the inside. I think it's like a big Tootsie Roll. Huh. Kind of looks like a Tootsie Roll, really. Um, well, Tootsie Roll is one big chewy chew, but this ain't going to be chewy on the outside. So I guess it's more like a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> a long one. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, next episode, we will keep working on this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue off camera to try and get more of this built. So it's not, so you guys aren't just watching me put blocks in and blocks and blocks and blocks, because that's really all I'm going to be doing here at this point. It's just kind of filling this in with blocks. I'm going to get, um, I'll get, I'm not sure which, how I'm going to step this if this is going to be too a level right here I think I think that's the smartest thing to do is put the roof right here and then have an elevator block coming up right here I think and then push it right down through um Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be the best way to do this. So I'm just going to be coming right... Mm, it's on an angle, but I don't know if... It, yeah, the other one's on an angle too. I mean... We can deal with that and have an angle. I just... That's going to be really hard to get in and out of, though. Holy crap. That's got to come down here. I've got no choice. There's no way I can get in and out of that up there. It's just going to be too high. <sighs> so my elevator's going to be coming straight up through here. I guess we'll build this out. How much space do we got here? We've got one two, three. Oh yeah, we can put our garden here. That's not a big deal. Okay. It's coming together. It's definitely coming together. I mean, we've got thrusters and stuff going in and most of the hall built. The in It's just the interior now that we got to kind of sort out and get all the gear in. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, guys, um, Yeah, I think I'm going to try and get the bulk of the interior built for the start of next episode. Because it's just, it's going to be tedious. Tedium. <laughs> and I want to get it done so that we can take this thing out and go exploring. Because this is going to be what we're going to use to go out into the Wild West and shoot it up. No. This is not going to be the shoot-up ship. This is not the shoot-up ship. The dart is more of the shoot-up ship. This is the go um, collect a whole bunch of ore and be support for the, the well, no, this is strictly mining. This is, this is just resource gather. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, 
next episode we'll keep building uh i should have hopefully by the end of next episode it might be actually uh flyable so i i'm hoping to get it to that point of um having it flyable by the end of next episode so so i need a lot of work to get up to the next episode so till then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>